She thought it was a simple fall, something a little rest would heal, like most people might think. But within one hour, a Richardson woman was in surgery, and she was then fighting for her life. In tonight's Eye on Health report, CBS 11's Ginger Allen has the story of a North Texas wife and mother who came minutes away from death. Look at that book! Mindy and Jason Redding of Richardson love reading to their two-year-old Caleb. He's wonderful. He's a joy. Hey, Richard. Always making us laugh. The couple just celebrated their fourth anniversary. A little shark. Little shark. Okay. But in that short time, they have endured more than most couples twice their age. In December, Mindy and her sister Molly were returning from a late lunch when something happened. Went to hop out of the truck and. When she fell, I could see her uh, hit her head on the concrete, and I could hear it, too. Mindy was unconscious. And she was laying somewhere in here um, uh, on her back um, with her head turned. And she was just trying to get up. She's like, so I'm fine. I just I want to go in the house, you know. And, um, and Jason and I were arguing with her, you know. I said, no, you know, you need to go get checked out. Paramedics rushed Mindy to the hospital. She immediately went into a CAT scan. When I saw her, she was in a coma and dying. Neurosurgeon so Dr. Rob Dickerman CT. says Mindy hit her head on the uh, temporal bone, essentially done. shattering it. It severed the artery, began to bleed like a fire hose. In just over an hour, so much blood had drained no, into Mindy's brain, no. you could actually see how her brain had shifted to one side. How are you going to tell your two-year-old son that, you know, his mom's not coming home? Dr. Dickerman was able to stop the bleeding and restore Mindy's brain to its original position, but her future was still unknown. Is she going to be okay? And he said... I can't tell you that. She woke up several days later. One of the first things that ran through my mind was Kalon. And, you know, if I was going to be able to play with him again or what was going to happen. She had no recollection of the accident or the events that followed. Days later, the family learned how close Mindy had come to death. Like literally minutes, literally minutes. And he said, You were standing on death's doorstep. He said, You were at that door. So. Dr. Dickerman said had any piece of the puzzle not fallen into place that day, things would have been much different. I felt like I was, for some reason, just placed in the right hands that day from beginning to end. Several months later, news that hit close to home. After a simple fall, actress Natasha Richardson died from an epidural hematoma, exactly what Mindy suffered. My heart went out to her family. It was hard to watch that. The Reddings hope that by hearing Mindy's story, others will take their warning. If she would have been by herself and come to and, but you know, said, no, I'm fine, I just want to go in the house, um, then she, she wouldn't have made it. You can't be too careful. Mindy went back to work as a teacher just two months after the accident. She has now made a full recovery. To learn more about what to look for after a fall, log on to our website, CBS11TV.com, and click on Health. I'm Ginger Allen, CBS 11 News.